Hey everyone and welcome to another installment of Crafting Bros Rundown, the series where I update you guys on all the latest superhero and or entertainment news that I deem interesting. And today we've got a pretty big piece of news for you, and it concerns Doctor Who and Disney Plus. So we all know what Disney Plus is, it's, it's pretty much become one of the biggest streaming platforms alongside Netflix, but how does Doctor Who fit into this? So the next era of Doctor Who is becoming highly anticipated for good reason, because we've got a good showrunner, Frosty Davis is back, he helmed the show in 2005, a brilliant actor to play the new Doctor, Shooty Gatworth from Sex Education, and oddly enough the upcoming Barbie movie, and more importantly, David Tennant, the best actor ever who played the Doctor, is back for the 60th anniversary in a new way that you might not expect. And while I have done multiple videos on the 60th itself, I want to talk about a rumour that's been swirling around recently. So for those not currently in the know, Disney is currently in talks with the BBC, the main broadcasting company here on TV, for Doctor Who to apparently air on Disney+. Plus. Now, this doesn't mean that Doctor Who itself is going to solely air on that platform. After all, Doctor Who is British and will still air here. But I think, in all seriousness, this could be a really good move for the show. Now, personally, I believe this will be a great move because Doctor Who has a huge fan base, not just in the UK but worldwide, and other countries in Europe and the US are likely unable to access BBC iPlayer. Sure, they could use a VPN or something, but the right way could be to see Doctor Who air on Disney+, Plus, as well as BBC iPlayer at the same time. Now, BBC iPlayer has some different restrictions, so for those who don't exactly know, I'm going to do a bit of explaining. So, BBC iPlayer, you can watch all manner of things, like any program that's aired on any of the BBC channels, you're more than welcome to watch it on there. There's also ITV Home and all four, and they're mainly useful for those actual TV channels, like All Force for Channel 4 and ITV Hub is for like all the ITV channels, like ITV 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. But BBC iPlayer is only available to those in the UK. So, for example, if you travel to a different country and you're on holiday and you wanted to watch Doctor Who, for example, on iPlayer, you couldn't because it wouldn't be available in that country. Now, again, you could use a VPN, but that's not really the point. Because introducing Doctor Who onto Disney Plus is a pretty good idea. And let's think about it for a second. Doctor Who across 65 countries has a fan base of about 100 million people and growing. Disney Plus had, to the best of my knowledge, close to 100 million subscribers now, though I'm not sure what the exact figure is. So just think how monumental that could be for Doctor Who, and this could even introduce more American audience members to the show as well, because I think by the time Matt Smith became the Doctor, like, it blew up in the States apparently. So that is a really huge thing. And that concludes this episode of Crafting Bros Rundown. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you all soon. Take care everyone.